Spiritual soul in the building. Geyser, geyser. Nature soul in the building, man. Simple. Geyser, geyser in the building. Do we so in the building? Facial hair so in the building. Smooth skin so in the building, man. Simple. Simple. Now check this out, y'all. This this shit is about to be very important. Now, I want y'all to listen to me very fucking close because I'm just about to come on here and say, I told you so. Now, this is, for some of y'all, this is y'all last chance. A lot of y'all don't be listening. A lot of y'all watch me for entertainment and you gonna suffer the same fate these bots gonna suffer. None of y'all is gonna make it. And I want you to understand what I'm about to tell you because I came out here and told most of y'all dumbass motherfuckers this shit and now y'all are literally getting affected by the exact thing that I told you. Now let me tell you this shit. I'm not, this video is not gonna be that long. I woke up this morning, got me some blueberries. I got some water. I've been up since five o'clock. It is eight, it's 8.37 right now. I've been up since five o'clock. I got some information. I did some research, got nature, went within, took care of myself. I'm just up right now, about to record this video. When I'm done, I'm gonna take a nap. Let me tell y'all this. A week ago, I came on this motherfucker and I told every last one of y'all, the title of the video was called, They Lied. In that video, I was explaining to y'all, if y'all want to know the, exactly what's about to take place in the United States and what's coming for us, what's the next big thing that's coming for us? I said, if y'all wanted to fucking know, that was it. I told y'all that it would be a food shortage that is going to impact the entire world. I told y'all China, this was a week and a half ago. I told y'all China was flooding, the worst flood in history. You can go look all this up right now. I said China was flooding, the worst flood in history. All of the crops, all of the seeds, everything that we get from them, we no longer can get from them right now. They are suffering the worst flood that they had in history and it's going to impact the world, right? I told y'all to do y'all research. Look this shit up. I told y'all in China, they not talking about it to nobody. They got their people distracted. Just like here, the United States got our people distracted with Corona, right? They not going to make it. But let me tell you, you the chosen one. You know what's popping now. So listen, I told y'all about the food crisis. I said it was going to be a big, big, big thing. I just recently dropped the video, five things that's going to happen before 2021, right? I talked about the food crisis. Now, all y'all just seen that big ass explosion that happened in, I think, Lebanese, right? That big bomb explosion. They show all y'all. Most of y'all was paying attention on why y'all was, was looking at if it was a missile and this and that. Oh, the Illuminati did it and all this random shit, right? I did my research. It didn't even take me five minutes to know why that explosion happened. Let me pull this up real quick. Listen. Big bomb, I'm going to say big bomb, wipes out 85% of the grain, silos or so, S-I-L-O-S. Y'all know what the fuck I'm talking about. Grain silos or silos, it don't matter. The port handles, that port that blew up that y'all seen, handled 60% of Lebanese imports. 60%, which means 60% of their food was coming in from that port right there. That just blew up. I repeat, sick. That port handled 60% of Lebanese imports. Now they can't take in no new food. I repeat, that big explosion that y'all just seen had everything to do with destroying their food source where they. Remember, bro, the shit is happening all around the world. I told y'all, it's one big world government. Y'all heard about the one world government. They all together. They all run this world. They all have their own agendas. And none of it is going to work. But people is going to suffer for their bullshit. That big explosion that y'all just seen was them destroying. The Lebanese is about to starve. They about to have a whole food crisis. They about to starve. Go look all this up right now. Lebanese food, food crisis. Go look it up. 
Y'all thought I, y'all thought I was bored. Y'all thought I was, y'all thought I was playing when I said this food shortage shit is real. I said y'all want to go stock up on some canned goods, all type of shit. They just showed the whole world what they got planned for y'all. I told y'all this shit is coming for the United States. I told y'all sooner or later, I told, it's so much food that y'all could buy in the United States right now. If you go to the grocery store, you can't buy that much food. They not going to tell y'all nothing about this food shortage shit. They going to keep the entire consciousness and all these bots focused on the most important thing that's important to them. Corona fucking virus. They're going to keep them in the house on lockdown. They immune system going to get ate the fuck up. They not healthy. They not getting no sun. They in the house suffering. They are going to submit to anything that come their way. Maybe a new vaccine that's coming. All type of shit. Right? The bots will not make it. They not going to have no food. They not going to have no conscious love. They not going to. vibration going to be so low. They in the house suffering right now. Some of y'all still ain't been in the sun. And I don't know how long. How the fuck you think you going to make it out here? I repeat, that big explosion that y'all just seen was a bomb that destroyed 85% of the grain silos. I think y'all look up a grain. I don't even know what that is. But when you say grain, it has something to do with food. That port handled 60% of Lebanese imports. 60% of their food came, that the bomb, it was, that's how they got it in there and they, to feed their people. They just destroyed their own food source. Now, in a month, Lebanese will be starving. They starving right now. Look this up. Also, Iran. It's all type of shit happening on the Middle East. Not just that explosion happened. It was like four more. Iran, livestock caught on fire in Iran. That's on the Middle East too. That's out there by Lebanese and shit too. Iran livestock. That has something to do with like the cows and how they be getting the food. I don't know too much about the farm shit. But they farm caught on, they shit caught on fire too in Iran. They destroying their food source down there in Iran. Also, let me tell y'all this. Let's come to America right now. Let's focus on America. Right now, 1.4 million people. Listen, <laughs> I made a 2020 prediction video last year. And I told y'all there, there would be more hurricanes and shit this year. And throughout my videos this year, I've been telling y'all, if y'all live by water, make sure y'all stock up on food and be prepared for y'all that live by water. Remember? For y'all that's been here at the beginning of the year, y'all was I was in the process of moving. This was before Corona. I, I wanted to move, and I said I don't know where. It was like right when I had somebody sleep outside in my backyard. Remember, I'm like, bro, I'm about to move, and I said I don't know where because I don't want to move by water. I don't want to have anything to do with water right now in the United States because natural events is happening, biblical stuff is happening. The planet is Mother Earth acting up. So it's going to be a lot of hurricanes and shit. 1.4 million people right now. 1.4 million people right now is without power in the United States. In Connecticut, 548,000 people is without power. New York, 433,000 is without power. New Jersey, 374,000 people is without power. In Pennsylvania, 19,700 people is without power. In Massachusetts, 19,000. We'll say 18,900. So 19,000 people is without power in Massachusetts. From a, a tropical storm called Isis or whatever the fuck it's called. It was a, just a tropical storm. Y'all can look this up. They probably not talking to y'all about this. These 1.4 million people without power, I guarantee you some of them watch my vids. And I told them to stock up on food a long time ago. I've been told them that natural events was going to happen. Anything that have to do with any of y'all that's by water and shit. Right now, 1.4 million people is without power right now. And what's happening in this world, the, the government is not going to instantly come and help y'all. They're going to want y'all to suffer for like two to three days. They're not going to instantly come and help y'all. It's trees falling down. Y'all going to see some videos. It's trees falling down in neighborhoods and shit. It's all type of stuff happening, but people is focused on Corona. They program, they bots. They can't think outside of the program that the government set for their brain, their consciousness. They can't look no other way. Like I always say, when you turn the light on, all the bugs fly to the light. You want to be that bug that don't go to the light. You're going to see all the motherfuckers die 
They gonna just bzz, die, burn from the light. You gonna go your own way, create your own reality. Right now, all this shit is happening. So look, the power might be out until Sunday. My nigga, it's, it's only Friday right now. They were saying the power might be out until Sunday. Also, I wanna tell y'all this. In California, the most productive farmland in California, they are being shut down. I told y'all in America, they are shutting down farms. Be before December, get here. Bef before 2021, there will be a food shortage in America. In, in California, the farmland is being shut down. 25% of our food come from them. The, the, the farmland that's in California is being shut down because the government is attacking them, saying that they basically, they say the government is trying to protect workers from Corona. They saying that the, remember I told y'all that they saying that the coronavirus cases is skyrocketed with food workers. So they want to shut down farms. They want to shut that shit down completely to save farm workers. When in reality, they want to shut that shit down just like they shutting down all the food all around the world. China, y'all just seen Lebanese food blow up in front of y'all face. America is going through a food shortage right now. I told y'all. Listen, let me show y'all this shit one more time to send y'all some motivation. I got a lot of crackers and shit. I got a lot of crackers. I got a lot of canned goods. A lot of dried fruit. Sweet peas. I got a lot of canned goods. And I ain't even went fully shopping yet. A lot of water. I got a lot of water stocked up. This is just food. It, if my power or something was to cut off right now, I'm already prepared. Now you got to think about all them people that suffering with their power out. They probably ain't got no candles. You got to get candles. Where my candles at? Oh. oh shit. Got the candles though. Get the man wipes, candles. Nine day candles. Listen, listen. We are the chosen ones. We the chosen ones. We 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 not like, bro, bro. Listen, we are not like these motherfuckers that's gonna be out here lost and suffering, just waiting for the media to tell them when to go stock up on food and when to do this and when to do that. That's not us. We follow the way we feel. We follow our gut. We follow our intuition. You get what I'm saying? We not watching the fucking news, waiting for them to tell us last second to go get food. Go get the shit now. The last thing I'm going to tell y'all, it is a war. It is literally a war against us, my nigga. It is literally us versus them. It's literally a war on our consciousness. The, the war is not... Like a lot of y'all don't understand, it is not a physical war. It is not like we going to battle and shooting guns and all this shit. Y'all can't think for yourself. Y'all don't know what to do right now. So all y'all doing is just, y'all at home caved in. Y'all don't know what the fuck is going on. Y'all don't know what is happening. Y'all don't know what's going on around the world. Y'all don't know what the fuck is happening. What I want to tell y'all, the last thing I'm going to tell y'all. It's time for you to build your spiritual family now. I'm not talking about your real life bot ass family that came here for your experience. Your spiritual family, the ones you're going to ascend with, because I'm trying to tell you, if you start telling your family about all this shit, it's not going to register with them. You are, don't be in a position to where you suffer because of your bot ass friends and family. Because I'm trying to tell you, it's a war and you're not going to be able to depend on bots. How you going to depend on a motherfucker that can't even think for themselves? It don't, it, it's not possible. You get what I'm saying? Go get you some food. Be still. Don't think, bro, listen, right now, don't be thinking about vacations and all this. Bro, get you some food, stock up and be still. Learn how to meditate and shit. If you've been in the house 24-7, go get start getting you some sun. Because it's going to be another tragic lockdown. And most of these bots that's been in the house, their immune system is already terrible. They're not eating healthy food. they just been sitting in the same spot all day suffering in a hell mind state. And this matrix is feeding off their shit. And that's the majority of the world. 
It's like, that's like 90, 98, 97% of the world are bots. So while all that shit is happening, build your spiritual family, build your protection right now. Start taking care of yourself right now because the worst is yet to come. Simple. Anyway, take care of yourself, man. I love y'all, man. Spiritual soul signing out, man.